take a big breath in and a big breath out. Are you ready to move your body? Welcome to another Keep Moving with Emily. Um, today's class is going to be a high intensity, I'm calling it high ladder uh, workout. So we're doing some pretty high reps and then we're gonna slowly come down the ladder during the period of time. So um, as you can see over here, I have got uh, three different sets of weights. So if they start getting too heavy, um, you can always drop them. You listen to your body. Usually when we do higher reps of weight, you can drop that weight just because you're doing a lot of them. You don't want them too heavy. Um, but we're gonna get a full body workout. First, we're gonna get a nice dynamic warm up like we always do. And then I want you to grab something to write with because we are going to be counting some reps of some cardio moves that we'll be using throughout the workout. So make sure you've got something to jot those down. And uh, yeah, so um, get your equipment ready. Get your mind, get your body ready. You are here to move your body. So we'll set any stresses or calendar things to the side. And we're gonna focus on getting our work done, getting that body moving, getting those endorphins flowing. It's gonna be great. So if you're ready, let's keep moving. Woo, we're gonna start off with some nice mobility. So we're gonna start off with that nice little knee hug. Hold that knee, hug that knee, and then rotate that ankle and switch. Start with a little bit of mobility, then we're gonna get the body move in. Pull that knee in, hugging that knee up to your chest, rotate. We're already challenging our balance, so good. Maybe one more on each. Woo, find your balance, find your balance. <laughs> you can always grab onto a wall if you need it. All right, we're gonna do a nice little hamstring scoop. Reach, circle, switch. Feeling a nice stretch in the back of that hamstring. Good shoulder mobility, big circles with those arms. Big breath in. Nice. Let's go one more on each. Perfect. All right, we're gonna reach one foot back, reach those arms up. Nice little lunge, reach, and push through that front heel as you step up. Feeling a nice stretch in that hip flexor. Lengthening in the spine as you reach those arms up into that nice warrior pose. Good. Take a big breath in. One more. And exhale, very nice. We're just gonna sidestep, roll those shoulders. Just move in from side to side, roll those shoulders the other way. Perfect. We're gonna start getting that heart rate up just a little bit. Hamstring curls, open up that chest. Good. Yep, curl and open up those arms. Nice. Let's go. Reach, drive that knee up. Perfect. You got it. Working that core, working those knees. Get that heart rate up there. Perfect. Three, two, one. We're gonna twist it across. Sink it down low, reach and twist. Good, you can even do a nice little bicep curl if you want. Or across the body. Good, let's reach it up and over. Working those obliques. Reaching those arms, lengthening. Good. Give me three, two, one. We're gonna do a nice little squats, kind of warm up those hips. So I want you to squat it down and up. Sink it down, push through those heels, squeezing those glutes. Good. This time we're adding a kick. So you can do like a nice little kick, toe reach. Good. Keep it up. Go out with that kick. One more. Woo, good. Find your way to your mat. We're gonna do some inchworms and do a little bit of core. Big arms up. Reach it forward into that nice long, hold that plank just for a couple of seconds. Bring one foot outside, so left foot outside that left hand. Reach it up, back into that high plank. Switch, right foot comes outside that right hand. Reach that right hand up to the sky. 
One more on each side, high plank, runner's lunge. Stretching out those hips. Woo, working those shoulders. Good. All right, back into that high plank. Push it up into downward dog, into plank. Two more. Working that core. Good. We're gonna drop it all the way to the floor. We're gonna go five push-ups, so hands outside the chest. You can either just go to your knees or all the way up onto those toes. Exhale, push up for five. Lower. Four. Three. Two more. Good, again, if you wanna be on those knees, that's fine too. Nice, push it back into child's pose. Push it all the way up into a nice cobra. Hips are down to the ground. You can look left, right if you want. Back into child's pose. Reaching those arms forward. Get into tabletop position. We're just gonna do some bird dogs. So extend left arm or right arm. Left arm with right leg. Hold and switch. Working that backside. Working the core. Good. Perfect. One more on each side. Reach, pull, squeeze in the glutes. Nice. Flip it onto your back. We're gonna finish with some hip bridges. Push through those heels. Up to the sky for five, four. You got it. Up and squeeze. Three, two, and one. Good. Maybe hug those knees. Slowly sit it up and find that piece of paper or that whiteboard because we're about to write down our number of some cardio moves. So get ready, grab that water, and we're gonna get moving. So move that mat out of your way. You won't need it for a little bit. I'm gonna put our three moves up on the screen. Again, grab something to write with and get ready. Cardio blast, really I'm calling it our cardio benchmark. So here we go, are you ready? So how it's gonna work, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Those three moves that are up on the screen, we've got burpees, if burpees don't work for you, I want you to do a good old cherry picker, reach those hands to the sky. Squat, you can add a jump if you want. Jumping jacks, you know how to do those. Mountain climbers, you can use an elevated surface or the floor. I'm going to put on time, I'll let you know when to go, when to tell you to go, start counting your reps or whatever exercise we're doing, Write it down, you'll have time to rest, and then we're gonna go into the next one. So by the end of all three of these, you'll have three different numbers that you're going to refer back to later on in the workout, okay? So I'm gonna get my timer ready. 10 seconds, we are going to get started. Here we go. First one, burpees. I want you to count your reps in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. Keep it up. Couple more, let's go. One more, you got it. Rest, write that number down. Whew. Write that number down. Catch your breath, jumping jacks. In about 15 seconds. These can be modified, high impact, quick jacks. It's up to you in three, two, one, let's go. Write that number down. You got this. Whew. 
All right. Last exercise in about 15 seconds are those mountain climbers. If that's too much, you can always do standing mountain climbers. 10 seconds, you can go elevated surface or on the floor. I'm gonna go elevated this time in three, two, one. Count those reps. those reps. Write them down. If you didn't count, that's all right. I'll give you a number. Good work. All right. Woo. So right now, you should have three numbers written down that we're going to refer back to. So be ready. Turn that fan on. We don't want to get overheated. And we're about to get into our workout. Our workout's going to look the same each round, just different exercises. So here we go. I'm going to put it up on the screen. So as you see up on the screen over here, rep count starts at 14. And you're going to go through all three of these moves, and then you'll go to 12, then 10, then 8. So four minutes on the clock, you're going to do 14 weighted lunges. That can be easy count, so weights on my shoulders are down by my side. One, two, all the way to 14. Deadlift to an upright row. Kind of compound moves here. Weights are here. Down, squeeze it up, upright row. Again, 14 reps. And then starfish is that core move. Laying on the floor, arms extended, and then we're going to crunch all the way up, hug those knees. And then that's this is where you're going to include that burpee. So. For me, I gotta get nine. So I'm gonna go through all three of those strength moves, get nine burpees, start again, but this time drop it to 12. And then the next round to 10. Get as many rounds as you can in that four minutes, and then we'll move on to the next round. All right? Starting with that weighted lunge, so I want you to find those weights. Again, we're going high reps here, so listen to your body. If you wanna start off heavy, go for it. If you wanna start off lighter, that's up to you too. We're doing those weighted lunges, so grab those weights. Again, 14, easy count. We're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Here we go. Catch your breath, grab that water if you need it. Let's do this. All right, grab those weights. We're lunging backwards, keeping that chest up nice and high. Roll those shoulders down and back in three, two, one, let's go. So you're going 14, so that's one. Sink back to two. Core stays nice and tight, chest stays nice and high. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Working the quads, working the glutes. I think if you're with me, you got two more? Nice. Good. After those lunges, roll those shoulders down and back, hinge at the waist. Booty comes back, up and squeeze. 14 of these. It's not a race. Good. You should feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings. Pushing those hips back, squeeze and lift. Good. Lots of compound moves. <sighs> Inhale down. I want you to think about squeezing those glutes. Right here, squeeze and then stand. Try not to round that back. All right, if you're with me, kind of lost count. So, we'll do two more. You're either lucky or unlucky if you're staying with me. <laughs> Last one. Good. Once you finish there, you're going to starfishes. Core move. 14 of these. Extend all the way out. Exhale up. 
These can be a little bit faster if you want. Nice. All right. Whatever number you did with those burpees or cherry pickers, knock them out right now. You ready? Let's go. Keep it up. Tuck my shirt in. Woo! Keep it up. If you're finished with those, start back with those weighted lunges. 12 this time. Keep working. A minute and a half to go. Woo! Woo, heart rate's up there. Weighted lunges, 12 this time. You got it. Working that endurance. Got it. Keep it up. Once you get that 12, you're going into 12, deadlift to an upright row. 30 seconds left, let's go. Wherever you're at, I want you to keep moving. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Don't stop. Last ten. Finish strong. You may have only gotten, I haven't even finished two rounds yet. But guess what? I've been moving this whole time. Those four minutes. And a rest. Woo! Awesome job. All right. Now you got the idea. That 14 reps may take up that entire four minutes, or you may have gotten to 10 or eight, it's up to you. Listen to your body, we're moving on. Round number two. All right, so here we are. We're going to be doing the same idea, kneeling shoulder presses, wall sit with a curl, reverse crunches, and then that cardio benchmark, this time it's those jumping jacks. So whatever you hit with those jumping jacks, that's how many you'll get. If you didn't count your reps, just give me 30. All right, so if your knees are bad and getting on your knees isn't an option, I just want you to do a standing shoulder press or you can balance and do half on one leg, half on the other. Or if you're with me, sitting up nice and tall in this tall kneeling and we're doing shoulder presses, 14. So drop it to a lower weight, 14 is kind of a high rep. Then you're going to hop it onto the wall, do some isometric hold with those legs, curl it up for 14. Then we're going to do reverse crunches, almost like a knee tuck laying down. As you're listening to me, jog in place or grab some water. Lift those hips to the sky. You can either go six inches or just tap the heels to the floor and up. 14 of those. Your number of jumping jacks. Repeat, drop it by two each time. See how many rounds you can get. I only got about two and a half. Maybe you got more than me. Maybe you got less. This is your workout. Make it work. All right. Here we go. So, starting with that kneeling shoulder press. Here we go. <clears throat> Again, use lower weights, use higher weights. You got this. 10 seconds, we're gonna get started. If you're in that tall kneeling with me, squeezing those glutes, core stays nice and tight. 14, let's go. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice. Once you're done with those 14, stand it up. Hop it onto that wall. Bicep curls for 14. Let's go get those knees at 90. Curl it up. 
Inhale up, exhale up, inhale down. Core stays nice and tight. Couple more here. Nice. All right, reverse crunches. You can either go at six inches or tap those heels. Lift those hips up to the sky, using those lower abs. If you're with me, you got four more. Good. And one. Hit that jumping jack number, whatever you got. I gotta get 40. You ready? Let's go. Keep it up. Awesome job. Once you're done with those jumping jacks, you're back to that kneeling shoulder press or standing up to you. This time 12. We got about a minute and a half to go. Maybe you do military press this time. Wrists face each other. Squeezing those glutes. Exhale up. Inhale down. You got it. Cool, all right, wall sits. As those weights get, as the reps go down, you can always increase in your weight. 12, wall sit, bicep curls. Let's go. Keep it up. Once you're down there, go into those reverse or those reverse sit-ups. Here we go for 12. Again, you can tap those heels. If going to six inches doesn't work, tap those heels, lift those hips. Good. Once you hit 12, you're back to those jumping jacks. Are you ready? 15 seconds, let's go. Finish as many as you can. Three, two, and one. Rest. Woo. Great job, all right. We got one more round, you got this. Take a big breath, grab some water. Round number three, final round. Here we are, we're at our final round, see? We're moving and grooving while I chat. Side step, jog in place. Shake it out, we're going for rows, chest press, weighted sit-ups, and then that mountain climber count. So if you forgot to count or didn't count, I just want you to give me 30, one, two, three, four. Um, easy count. All right, rows. We hinge at the waist, booty comes back, pull those elbows in, reach and pull. You can always do like a TheraBand around a pole if you want to sit in a squat and pull this way too. That works too. Chest press, we're going to be on the floor, elbows come wide and push. You can be in that bridge if you want. <clears throat> and then we'll do a weighted sit, so grab one weight and we'll do sit-ups. And then those mountain climbers, we're here for four minutes, starting with that rep count of 14. And then we'll drop it by two every time we go back to that row. All right? So let's do this. We got four minutes of work. Let's do this. Here we go. All right, find those weights. All right, so again, hinge at the waist, back is flat, reach forward, and pull for 14. Let's 
squeeze into the shoulder blades. Once you're done with those 14, we're gonna drop it to the floor, lay on your back. You can press that lower back into the mat or you go into that bridge. So you can be up in a bridge, elbows are wide, press it up and down for 14. Or you push those, your lower back in. Inhale down, exhale up. Work that chest. You can always rotate those wrists together. Elbows wide and then rotate wrists together at the top. We're here for 14. If that lower back is pressed in, core stays nice and tight, or we're up here in that bridge. Once you hit 14, with me, drop one weight, hold one weight to your chest, sit up all the way for 14. If that's too much, you can just do a weighted crunch. Just bring those shoulder blades up off the mat or come all the way up high. Good. Inhale down, exhale up. We're here for 14. If you're with me, we got two more. One and two. All right, mountain climbers. Either hit that number or if you forgot to count or you just wanna do 30. That's up to you. You ready? I am on that elevated surface and go. Once you hit that number, back to those rows. It's time for 12. Catch your breath. Grab those weights. We're gonna keep moving this whole time. We got a minute and a half, let's go. Hips come back, reach those arms forward. And we're pulling those elbows up high. Again, if you have that band, maybe you're pulling like so. Pull and pull. Keep working. Ooh. You can always go wide row two. Elbows come nice and wide. Pull. Almost like a reverse fly. Keep that head down. Try not to look up because it's going to strain your neck. Keep that back flat. Belly button tucked in. Inhale down, exhale up. Nice. If you're with me, drop it to the floor. Chest press, we got 12. Finish strong, let's go, we got less than a minute. Good. If you're with me, drop that weight. We're going for 12 sit-ups, 30 seconds left. Keep it up. Sweet. All right, drop that weight. Finish with mountain climbers. About 10 seconds. Come on. Nice and fast. Give me three, two, and one. Woo! High fives to the screen. Oh, feels so good. Feet moving, heart rate's up there. We're gonna stretch it out, calm that heart rate. I'm so proud of you. High five. Great job, everybody. Oh, it feels so good. Heart rate is up there, so let's take a big breath in. Reach. As we exhale, I want you to just lean over, pull one wrist gently to one side. Inhale up. And reach. Good. Get those legs a little bit wider. Reach those arms out nice and wide. Big breath in. And hinge forward. Maybe place one hand on the floor, reach it up to the sky. Nice little twist. Back to out wide and then twist the other side. 
Do a little bit of a stretch in the glute, the back. Good. Place those hands on those knees. Open up them nice and wide. Get a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Slowing that heart rate down. Can you twist to one side? Feel a nice stretch down. Shoulders, inner thigh. Big breath in. Exhale to the other side. A really good stretch in that inner thigh. Good. Nice. All right. We're going to lean into one side, into a nice like long lunge, side lunge. Reach over. Big breath in. Sink it down and reach. Good. I'm going to grab our mat. Let's walk it out into a nice little downward dog. Push those hips up to the sky. Pedal those feet. Hips are up to the sky. Stretch. Good. Drop it to those knees. Nice little cat cow here. Lift the head, bring the belly to the floor. And then arch that back out to the sky, feeling a stretch in those shoulder blades. to neutral. Sink it down into that child's pose. Hips are coming back onto those heels. Reach hands forward. Knees can be a little bit wider. Depending on your flexibility, maybe you place your head on your mat. Good. Walk those hands to the right. Dropping that left hip. I feel a real good stretch in that left shoulder. Reach hands forward and then reach the hands to the left and then drop that right hip. Getting a really nice stretch down that right side. Push it back into tabletop and then sit it onto your rear. One foot comes inside, reach that other hand towards that toe and then up and over. Nice hamstring stretch, a little bit in that lower back. Switch sides. Good. Reach for that toe and then reach up and over. I don't know about you, but that felt empowering and energizing. Those high rep counts, they'll, they'll take up some time. <laughs> Good. We're going to get a little bit of a glute stretch. So bend one knee. Place the other ankle on top of that bent knee, and then you're gonna bring that heel up towards your hip, or towards your butt, I guess, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch in that leg that's making an L. Sometimes I like to drop the foot. I can feel a different stretch, but you listen to your body. The closer that heel is to your booty, the deeper the stretch. Again, you can always do this one laying down. Release that foot and drop the switch. Good. Again, if you're on your back, you just interlace those fingers underneath that ankle. And same idea. Nice little hip stretch. This one can also be done um, seated too. Lots of different options. All right, sit up nice and tall. Get back into that downward dog. Whoop. And then walk those hands towards those feet. Nice little forward fold here. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Big breath in. Exhale it out. If you need to stretch anything else, go for it. But thanks for joining me for this Keep Moving with Emily. Um, like always, don't forget to subscribe so you can access all these videos and more on uh, Keep Moving with Emily YouTube page. So have a good day. Thanks for moving. I'll see you next time.